I don't know where to start with this video, so let's just get started immediately, shall we? Let's begin with Word. Oh, but first, let's check out this paperclip. I'm totally sure he won't be annoying to other people. Alright, one thing I'm going to talk about real briefly is the Office Assistant. Derived from technology coming from Microsoft Bob, because of course you gotta salvage something from that, this was uh, basically a thingy that you could basically, uh, you could get help through it, you could uh, have fun while you were doing your work, and suggest things while you were doing your work. It was not very well received, and a lot of people were annoyed by it, Clippy suggesting random things, like, it looks like you're writing a letter. Do you need help writing the letter? Yeah, anyone remember, I bet a lot of people remember that. But yeah, that's the office assistant. No, oh, excuse me there. Anyway, let's just get this paper set up out of the way here. I'm not gonna cover this. I decided to do something a little different here by starting to write a paper. I also did some Fortnite matting here, and I also left spelling mistakes in here so that we can deal a spell check. You have the normal spell check, which is what we all probably use, and then we have the more complicated spell check, which basically allows you to see all the mistakes and uh, cycle through all of those. Also, I should note here that you are going to have to make some changes yourself in some cases, for example, with the word parliamentary. And, well, yeah. I'm going to change this all to 12. Now I want to add a picture just for demonstration purposes. Please don't actually do this in actual school assignments. And for this, I'm going to use an MS Paint, because why not? It's MS Paint. Great. Anyways, now that I've got that image done, it's time to throw that image into our Word document. Unfortunately, Word is pretty sloppy when it comes to implementing images and documents. In fact, Publisher is much better at this, uh, which is why I sometimes prefer Microsoft Publisher over Microsoft Word, even to this day. So, well, yeah. This is also apparently the uh, normal layout. But anyway, that is Microsoft Word. Now I'm going to cover Microsoft Excel. For this, I'm going to do a tracker of all of the calories of soda beverages I've had today. All right, at this point, I should probably save the spreadsheet so that in case of an emergency, it doesn't get lost. I want to briefly touch up on functions, which you can do by for example, you can uh, do equals sum and add two cell numbers and then end up with a, um, with a result of those two numbers added. It's pretty cool and it's pretty important for Excel and I'm pretty sure I learned about this back in like middle school. It's that important. So, well, yeah. Anyways, there's cell formatting, which changes the size of a cell. We can also change a cell's uh, general appearance by changing its color, adding borders, etc. Anyways, here's the final product. Pretty decent, in my opinion. Well, anyways, that's Microsoft Excel. We're gonna cover PowerPoint next. Well, anyway, we have the auto content wizard, which I'm deciding to use for once. Yay me! Because this was removed a bit back, and I'm pretty sure this wasn't in Office 2000, which was the next major version of Windows. No, I mean Office. So, yeah, I've tried- I've showed this before in a video that nobody really remembers. I wonder why. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, we have- Hang on a second. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, um, we have the uh, general outline view. This can actually- actually was not a very- of this, but actually now that I realize this, I actually kind of like this more because this means that you don't have to focus so much on the actual PowerPoint. If you need to do a presentation, this is very important. And it probably make things much more convenient and you probably save more time. But that's not really what we're here to do. We want the normal slide view. Anyway, I'm going to apply a design theme. We have a bunch of these. Uh, apparently there was one called Blush. And, well, yeah. Well, this one looks cool, so I'm gonna use it. And no, it isn't blush. Oh, hey! Our presentation is done! Oh, let's do a slideshow to celebrate! 
Oh yeah, and this totally did not take a long time. point for you. Let's cover Outlook next. Anyway, we have the inbox, which features a, a demo message or a welcome message, which is pretty cool. Well, I don't see why we can't write an email message now to a store in, I mean, locally. Because I don't have this hooked up to the internet. Anyway, I'm going to save the structs, and now we're going to cover the calendar. Well, this is a pretty simple thing, you know the drill. We make an appointment, we set a reminder, and then we uh, wait for that reminder to go off. Only it didn't do it at first, but it eventually did it. So, well, yeah, that's calendar. Now it's time to cover the contacts. Anyway, we have this uh, sample contact, but no, I want my own contact, or I'm going to probably make one. Only I didn't do that, I used the contact that was already pre-generated for me. Anyway, we have, we can follow this in a different way, which I have done. I, we can change the email, we've got birthdays, which will show up in calendar by the way. And well yeah, not really much to report home about. It's basically for storing info about your uh, colleagues and co-workers and all that stuff, because that's important for, uh, the office. Alright, next up we have tasks. I'm gonna do something simple here. Eat food, drink, soda. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's tasks. Next up, we have notes. And, uh, yes, this is all in Comic Sans. And last but not least, we have the journal, which we have a demo entry telling us that we received an Outlook message. And, well, yeah, we can create entries for a bunch of different things. For example, Microsoft Word. And, well, yeah, and that's Microsoft Outlook. Last but not least, I'm going to mention that when you close Outlook, there's a message that shows up telling you, please wait while Outlook exits. But, yeah, that is Outlook. Let's move on to Microsoft Access. Anyway, for this, I'm going to use a template because it is very simple and it actually makes things much easier for me who is editing this at quite late at night. So, well, yeah. What template? The video collection template because, hey, look at this video folder of projects that I have uh, done. I'm only going to be using the most viewed one here, which is Windows Vista in 2023. So, well, uh, yeah, there's an actor database and a few other things, so, uh, yeah. Also, this is much easier to work with because you basically get a bit of a pseudo application. Uh, it requires access to be open, though. But, yeah, we can also view all of these different forms manually. We can also exit the main database via the main search board. And, well, yeah, that's Microsoft Access. Uh, that's almost it. Except there's one more thing. Microsoft Binder. Yay, it's the last thing. I'm... I... I'm... I want to move on from this video editing. But, anyway, Microsoft Binder is a program that basically allows you to view different... Office documents inside of a single program and probably also bundle them all into one document. You can do stuff like uh, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, uh, PowerPoint presentations, and also um, uh, Microsoft Project projects. That sounds weird to say. Uh, so, well, yeah. I'm not going to really cover this because it is literally just a program that allows you to basically bundle up the functions of other programs. So, well, yeah. And that is Microsoft Office 97. Well, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!